And what we did is, is we used data that we had developed that um, tracked individuals across uh, decades. Uh, and we had some validated measures of various emotions, including happiness. And uh, what we attempted to show and were able to show is that my happiness depends not just on my own actions and thoughts and behaviors, but also on the actions and thoughts and behaviors of the people to whom I'm directly connected, my friends, siblings, spouses, neighbors, coworkers, and so forth, and the people to whom they are connected, and the people even to whom they are connected. So we were able to see that whether or not I am happy is at least partly related to whether my friends, friends, friends are happy, out to three degrees of separation. And in fact, as we studied the problem more, uh, we began to think of emotions as having a kind of collective identity, uh, as if they're emotional stampedes in human populations, a kind of a quiet riot that, uh, that is just below the surface at all times. Because when we map this network, we were able to find clusters of happy and unhappy people in the network that spread out to three degrees. Um, and we were able as well to show that these happy clusters arose not just because happy people tended to hang out with other happy people, uh, which does happen, but also that happy people are able to influence others to become happy and that happiness can spread from person to person to person to person. But for now, the, the basic idea is, is that there's this vast fabric of humanity stretching endlessly into the distance. I'm connected to you and you to others on out endlessly. And that, if you imagine this fabric as being like an old-fashioned American quilt, there are patches on this quilt of happy and unhappy uh, locations within the network. And whether or not you are happy depends in part on whether you occupy a happy patch, which um, is not necessarily something you choose. Anyway, so the basic idea is, is that uh, happiness can ripple through the networks, that, uh, that your actions can influence the actions of, and, th and feelings of others around you, which in turn then can spread to still others and then to still others. Life is better because of our relationships.